Hi, this is Derp World Industries, which today is hosted by Joachim. In this video I'll guide you through the journey of replacing a HP Pavilion DV6 15.6 inch display. I purchased mine on LaptopScreen.com. To start with, you are now to remove two small plastic covers placed at the bottom of the plastic frame. The covers are held in place with nothing but some sticky glue, so don't be afraid of shattering any bracket or so. Under each cover you'll find screws which are to remove. A good tip here is to tilt the screen to its outermost angle before twisting them out. That done, you should start working on the front plastic frame. Do this by squeezing in your nail or plastic tool in the groove on the edge of the frame. Proceed gradually to open the whole furrow around the frame. Remember to be a bit careful in this phase because of the brackets which are placed behind. When you have worked yourself around, you simply remove the front frame by lifting straight off its last bottom brackets. In the video you will see me doing it in an angle. This is not recommended since it's plastic fasteners and they aren't designed to be stressed in any other but straight direction. When it's off you can now lay it down and continue removing the broken screen. The screws you'll have to remove are the outer ones placed here and here. These are not hard to remove and they are the same type as the two first you had to take off before. Place them down and do the same thing with the two other screws on the top corners. The next four screws are a bit more tricky to remove. The first one placed right in the center of this yellow circle. The reason that they are hard to remove is that they are half covered within the border of the plastic frame. Now simply separate the metal frame from its plastic back by applying some pressure. A good tip is to angle your computer so that the screw will find its way out when it's released instead of falling into the back side of the screen bracket. Next you do the same thing with the screw on top. Turn your computer around and repeat the same thing again. Now for the fun part. Removing the old screen and putting in your new. Now you are to flip down the ruined screen and carefully pull the connector that you are seeing in this picture. Remember to be more careful with the connector in particular than your old screen. 
Remove the tape and grab some corners in the flat connector. Pull it backwards and remove your screen. Now pick up the new screen and remove all packaging plastic covers. Lay the bottom metal border on the keyboard and plug it in. Since it's a bit more difficult to insert the back cable than it's to remove it, it's really recommended to use some extra pair of hands. Put the tape back on and you're almost ready for a test run. Fasten the old screws on both sides. Plug your connector into the power cord and boot your machine up. If it launches properly, you are now only to put the plastic frame back and stroke your eventual mustache in satisfaction. Now if your screen looks like this, do not be alarmed. In my case, this only meant that the cable behind the screen was not properly attached. Removing the screen as done before and squeezing your cable into its slider just a bit more should do the trick. In the description of this video you'll find the exact screen for my computer model. But don't worry if you haven't got the same computer as me. Simply search the site for your particular model and you should be all good to go. And thanks for watching.